question 3a let's see what's going on here it says the universal set well first of all um, remember that sets as of May 2018 sets um, is no longer presented in paper 2 but it's in paper 1 so you should still learn it and under con understand the concepts so let's see the universal set U is all of this B D E F G I K S T V W so remember the universal set is the set that contains everything and all the other sets alright the Venn diagram below shows U right that's a rectangle and everything in it and the three sets M right so set M this circle everything in this circle set P that's here is everything in this circle and R R is here so it's everything in this circle right which are subsets of U that means each of them they, they, they are sets and they are set within the universal set so you can see that here what it says state the value of n p union m r all right so what that means is the number of elements in p union r no you remember what union means it means everything in both sets it means whether it is one set alone or the other set alone or both all right so p union r let's look at the number of items in both as long as it is in p and as long as it is in r or both it should be counted one two three those are in p alone three so far these three they are in both right so we have three so far four five six already then those in r alone and not in p seven eight so it is eight eight items eight elements are in p union r so the answer is eight you see that then after that it says list the members of the members of p interse m intersect p right the members of m intersect p erase this now as for the members of m intersect p remember when you write a set you use curly brackets m intersect p that means what is in both m and p at the same time it does not mean m alone or p alone it must be in both at the same time so it is in m and p so m and p the area that it overlaps is this so right here so the elements are b comma the other one d b and d and you close your bracket your curly bracket so these are the members of p intersect m all right now let's just erase these and move on to the next thing p union r complement no m union r complement m union r complement now the union p union r means what is in p 
and R are both. Now this is P, this is M union R complement, right? I'm talking about P. M union R would be what is in M or R or both. But this is not M union R, it's M union R complement. So we need to make a note of what is in M. Then also make a note of what is in R complement. And we put them all together and write everything. Alright? So, M union R complement. We want to first of all write down what is in M. M is a, what do you see? I see B, I see D, C, I, and K. Good. What about our complement? Do you remember what complement means? It means outside of what is not in R. Our complement is what is not in R. What is outside of R. So, our complement is, as long as it's outside of R, you have K, you have B, you have V, you have S, you have T, you have W. Alright, those are outside of R. Now, what you want is M union R complement. So, what is going to that is going to mean is that you write down an item that I have here, whether it is in one or both. So B, I see B, B is in both. D, D is in M. You write it down. Then you have I, I is here. Then I see K, good. Over here, I see K again, but you only need one K, not two. This is B, we used that already. V is in R only. So remember, K and B are in both. But V is in R only. You write down your V, comma, your S, A, W. No, T, not A. Your T. And your W. Alright. So this represents M union R complement. Is that clear? If it's not, just let me know. Be able to go over it again. But that's part three A. After that we have part three B. It's a construction question, so let's leave part 3B until a later date.